Good morning, students. Welcome to the statistics class. In the previous class, I have explained to you regarding this uh, consumer price index number solving with aggregative expenditure method. And today, we will take some problems based on the other method, which is called as a family budget method. Right. So, how can we identify uh, which method to be applied, students? It's only through the data given to us. Based on the data given to us, we can only uh, identify which formula uh, should be adopted. We can only uh, adopt a particular formula based on the data given to us. So I hope uh, this concept is clear to us, okay? So what is there in this? The, the problem which is there on the screen is very clear. Compute the cost of living index number by using the following data. They didn't tell us which method to apply, but we have to look at the data given to us based on the data given to us we have to decide which method we should apply. That's it. Okay. So now when weights are given to us, students, when weights are given to us, so the, the best method for us, the best method for us to apply is, which one, students? It's a family budget method. Okay. It's a family budget method. So what is that family budget methods formula, students? Family budget method. So family budget method has, or we, we call it as FBM. So it is given by this formula P01 is equal to summation WP divided by summation W students. Okay. So now what we need to do is we need to identify what is the data given to us students. What is the data given to us? So let's see what is the data given to us. That is weights are given to us, weights. So we denote that as a W students. This is W, okay? Then price in rupees, base year price is P0. Current year price is P1, okay? So next, what we need to do is we need to find out, okay? We need to find out students, what are the values, you know? We need to find out first one is P students, P. What is P? P is equal to P1 upon P0 into 100. P1 upon P0 into 100. This is what we need to find out, P. After finding out P, then what we need to do is we need to find out the product of the weights and the price vectors. Okay, this is what we need to do, it, students. So let's do these problems here. Okay, the first thing is that what we do is 2520. 2520 divided by 2000, okay, right, into 100 or percentage wise, it would be called, it is how much you get? Here we get as 126 students, 126, okay. The next is 1200 divided by 800, okay, so we get as 150, this is 150. Okay, then 500, 500 divided by 400 is 125. This is one, what this is 125 students. Okay, the next one is 700 divided by 500 is 140 students, is 140. Okay, then we have 1000 divided by 800 is 125. So we got all the values of P. Okay, we got all the values of P. This is a, okay, uh, this is one. 25. The last one is 125. So this is 125. This is 140. Is it right? So when we get all these values, what are these values? These are price relatives or P's. 126, 150, 125, 140, 125. Now we need to take the product of this WP. WP that is, okay, that is what it is. It is W is 10. The first item food. Uh, the weights is 10 into 126 students into 126 
it is how much 1260 one, okay the next one is 5 into 150 students it is how much it is 750 750 this is 750 the next one is is 3 into 125 125 okay is equal to it is how much 375 this will be 375 okay the next is 7 into 140 Okay, so it would be 980. This is 980. And last one is 5 into 125 is 625 students. This is 625. So we need to know the total of all this. So the total of all this would be 3,990 students. 3,990. This is summation WP. And what is summation W? Summation W is 30. This is summation W students. This is 30. That is 10 plus 5 is 15. 15 plus 3 is 18. 18 plus 7 is 25. 25 plus 5 is 30. This is 30. So what, what we can do right now is we can start solving this problem students. We can start uh, solving this one as like this. Summation W. P is 3,990 divided by 30. 3,990 divided by 30 is how much you get answer as 133%. Okay, this is the, the family budget method, cost of living index number. So an increase of 33% increase over the past year. This is what we can uh, declare students. This is one problem. Okay. So I hope you have followed this students. Right. Okay. Fine. So the next one, we will take another one problem students. We will go to the uh, next problem. I will uh, like to, um, you know, uh, go back.